We're very interested in why some patients with psoriasis have better outcomes than others and or worse outcomes than others. So one of our big concerns in psoriasis is that <clears throat> we know that a subset of them die early of heart attacks and strokes. We don't really understand that. We know that the inflammation that's in the body can, can create risk for that kind of disease. And we actually have one of our doctors, Dr. Nicole Ward, has an animal model of psoriasis in which she can show that the mice stroke out uh, more easily when they have the psoriasis-like skin disease on their, going on their skin. So then we come back to the humans and we want to know in our patients, well, how do, how do we change that? So we're looking at a lot of these uh, parameters in terms of who gets this kind of risk. And that we have to go into bigger data. We have to go into the electronic medical record and try and really characterize our patients in a much more detailed way. Now this is kind of a new horizon to try and be able to I really have detailed information on a big scale from patients that are in, being treated, not just in clinical trials, which is very controlled, but in the real world. And so this is a big challenge and we're trying to understand that and be able to then put markers, develop new markers for this cardiovascular risk so that we know who to really focus on. And then once we know that, then we can decide, well, which of the new exciting drugs that target the immune system that we have available now do a better job of preventing heart disease than the other one. So let's say we have two drugs that are equally effective at clearing people up skin-wise, but does one of them protect against heart disease and the other one doesn't? So that's the new horizon that we're really uh, interested in and breaking through. The mice were uh, bred to have a skin disease, a psoriasis-like skin disease, and then once they have that skin disease, they develop the enhanced ability to clot. That is, they're, they're, they, they have more thrombosis, which is how a heart attack starts or a stroke starts. The genes that we put in to the, uh, into the uh, mouse cause them to get skin disease. The skin disease then creates what we call a prothrombotic state, which is a state where they're um, more likely to clot. And the clot is what plugs up the blood vessel and causes a heart attack or a stroke. So we want to understand how does the skin cause the blood to be more sludgy and more clottable. So how does that happen? So we're uh, studying the cells of the immune system that might be responsible for that. Uh, we think it's that there are these cells called myeloid cells, that it's a lineage of, of cells that come from the bone marrow, and we think they're the ones that are probably responsible. In terms of people of color with psoriasis and atopic dermatitis, uh, we always pay attention in all our studies to make sure we have a, a balanced representation. We're never sure if the uh, the development of disease in patients with skin of color is different or the same. So in order to understand that, we have to have appropriate representation both ways. So we don't see a huge difference in psoriasis. Uh, atopic dermatitis, we definitely see more expression of atopic dermatitis in, in uh, young children of skin of color, but also of Asian descent as well. So we know that there's some, something going on there. I don't think we have a great handle on it. In uh, psoriatic arthritis, we are also very excited because those same drugs that are working for psoriasis are working for the arthritis in the main. So the psoriatic arthritis is very destructive, causes a lot of disability for patients. They can't use their joints and their hands and, and uh, it's very disfiguring. So being able to stop the progression of psoriatic arthritis is really important to that patient population. We're also, again, thinking about why does this subset of patients have this outcome and that subset of patients have a different outcome and trying to understand that from a genetic and epigenetic that is what are the other influences that have come in to kind of create that disease. Mm. But we're very fortunate that, that a lot of these drugs are having an impact on the arthritis as well as the skin.